And our testers are joining us in the audience, and they've been trying. Woo! Give us some good news. Product all week. Give so us some did it work? Let's start with Lillian. How did you do? Good news only, please. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I liked the initial taste of it, but it kind of reminded me of cough drops because it kind of numbed my mouth, which really bugged me, but it also distracted me from wanting anything sweet, so it did work, but for only about like 30 minutes because I would catch myself eating chocolate again after an hour. So <laughs> it's a temporary <laughs> aid, but definitely not long term. Mm. All right, next up, Jennifer. Did this work for you? Did it curb your cravings? Um, well, it didn't exactly work as described, so it didn't, <laughs> it didn't take away the initial sugariness, but um, it did take away the sweetness afterwards. So it like dulled the sweetness once you stopped, I guess, kind of eating the sweet treat. So it didn't make me want to eat the entire cake, only half. <laughs> <laughs> only half. Well, I guess half is better. Than yeah, the whole cake. Less. I don't know, but I don't know if we can consider half of a cake success. <laughs> all right, Lindsay, how was your experience? To be honest, it didn't work for me at all. I was really hopeful, but even after having the lozenge, everything tasted just as sweet, and I was still finding myself reaching for sweet things at 10 o'clock at night and uh, hiding under the blanket with a bag of jelly beans. So I wish I could say that it helped me, but to be honest, it really didn't. Okay, well, okay. we want honest responses. And finally, Caitlin, how'd you do? So in general, it didn't really stop my cravings, but as soon as I would pop the lozenge into my mouth, it completely masked the flavor of the sugar. Mm. So at that point, I wouldn't keep indulging because it didn't taste as good. Like I tried my favorite candy and it was disgusting. So it worked in that way for me. All right, well, we do have a little twist to our test. Only two of you had the actual product and the other Ooh. two Ooh. had a placebo. Aren't we getting scientific yeah. here? No, I think that's a real On this show, <laughs> I like it. So this was a true scientific test. Lillian and Caitlin actually tasted the sweet defeat lozenge while Jennifer and Lindsay had the placebo. Oh, like so that. guess what? Our little yeah. study here at the doctors yeah. correlated that you that actually got the true lozen lozenge, sweet defeat, saw the results. Yeah, or at least had some impact, felt like it did something to your sense of taste while at least for a short term. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about the ingredients. Jamema, I guess that's the active ingredient exactly. in this along with sorbitol, zinc, mint, that's that mi minty flavor mm -hmm. that you're getting, mm -hmm. and spirulina, and what, what it's doing is affecting those taste buds to trigger them so you don't crave that sweet sugar sensation on your tongue. In fact, there was a 2017 study out of Oregon Research Institute mm -hmm. that was published in a journal of psychopharmacology that showed that people who used this gemema acid or gememic acid actually consumed 44% less sweets in this one small study. So some interesting preliminary research out there, and I know it's been used for many years in Ayurvedic medicine for type 2 diabetes and obesity, definitely being used in Asia and other parts of the world. I think so. there's some potential there. Yeah, so yeah. Dr. Nita, want to put it to do you, want, do you yeah. want a little bite of your chocolate cake. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. She's pushing yeah. away that chocolate. And that chocolate cake looks mm -hmm. yummy. She's going to try something else sweet. Mm -mm. <laughs> wow. Wow. So That's pretty nice. impressive. <laughs> You know, if you're, mm -mm. like you said, at times you may try to be good and, and just, why not? Well, I, I think it's a nice bridge. Wait a minute, like I'm you sorry. Said. When are my taste buds going, that stuff destroy my taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> they will come back, right? I'm sorry, Dr. Bach, proceed. <laughs> no. The bottom line is Americans are consuming more sugar than ever. Yeah. That, and I think we need to retrain our taste buds because we all crave that sugar. Yep. So yeah. things we can do, think about retraining yourself, eat more protein. And uh, other big important thing is we all have to be aware of those hidden sugars that are added to everything. Set. And that being said, we're going to have a list of the various sugar names you need to know on our website that may be hidden in your foods. So go to the doctorstv.com to find out all those. Some of those names are pretty long too. So testers, you are great.